uh, good to be here. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, after you played the number one team in the country, uh, you got a little bit better idea maybe of where you are and where you're not, you know, and uh, uh, the one thing I will say, and I've said this in here almost every week that I've come in here, our kids competed and uh, uh, they competed hard and uh, we didn't have enough. And that's the bottom line. They were better than us. And uh, I don't like saying that, but it's the absolute truth. But our kids competed. So with that, I'll start taking questions. I know if we had 13 tackles, how do you think he played? Played great. Played great. Did a tremendous job. Uh, really proud of him. Uh, uh, means a lot to him, uh, as it does all of our young men. Uh, but, uh, you know, by far, he played his best game. Coach, in what ways has the defense gotten better that maybe we can't see on the scoreboard? Well, I, I think, you know, obviously we saw some points on the scoreboard. Uh, but, uh, you know, we were competitive. We were competitive in the run game. Uh, we had a 13-play drive, which I don't like, you know, early in the game, held them to a field goal. Uh, we didn't see as many big plays for touchdowns, so we, we've eliminated some of the big plays. Uh, we played a very talented team, you know, and, 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 and you know, that's obvious. But uh, uh, it's hard to, to measure, you know, improvement, you know, when you're playing the number one team in the country. But there's no doubt I saw improvement. And, and comparing to this year and last year, uh, by far, uh, you know, we were, we were better. Our, our kids competed. Uh, I think we tackled better. We did uh, let a few plays get away from us. But fundamentally, we were better, and, uh, but they were just better than us. State present, particularly in the run game? Well, they've got a running back that's really good. Uh, obviously, very, very talented football team. Really, really big uh, physical offensive line, but we've seen that every week. Uh, um, they got a, a, a freshman quarterback that's, uh, you know, starting to play, uh, starting to play good football for. Uh, you know, they'll, uh, they'll be a big challenge for us, but a big opportunity at the same time. And, and we got to look at it from that standpoint, and we got to prepare. Uh, Obviously, uh, with the, the things they do, obviously their run game is important to them. And uh, it's, it's every week in the SEC. You've got to be able to stop the run, and that's what we've got to do this week. Uh, Coach Fitzgerald obviously was a load last year for you. How does this guy compare? And is their offense virtually the same style that they were running? Yeah, it's pretty much. Uh, you know, and they're going to run the quarterback. They're going to run a, a lot of quarterback power. Uh, and, and this kid does a, a, a really good job running it. Now, Fitzgerald was a bigger body, a more mature body. You, you've heard me mention, you know, it's like an 18-year-old versus a 22-year-old. There's a lot of difference there. And this is a, a, a young man that's, you know, probably 18. I don't know how old he is, 18, 19 at the most. And uh, it's not like playing against a 22-year-old, you know. But he does a tremendous job of running their offense, and uh, he'll, be, uh, he'll be difficult to handle as well as uh, uh, the rest of their running game. Yeah, I was just saying with McClellan was, was healthy. The just decision was made not to start him in the second half. I guess, well, what went into that and kind of what's, what's going on there? At, in in terms of? I, I guess he said you guys just decided not to start Jarquez because. Oh, I well, guess, we, we thought we, thought we uh, needed to get somebody else in the game. And, you know, we make those decisions. We don't talk about them, you know, why we made that decision. But we made that decision to, to get somebody else in the game and, uh, you know, and, and see if we could uh, maybe be a little better. Well, I, I, I hope he'll respond well. You know, I mean, those are the, those are the kind of things you see, and and we're going, yeah, and we're going to continue to challenge our, our guys, every one of them. You know, and uh, you know, we we took Scooter out. He didn't play in the fourth quarter. You know, is that a challenge to him? Maybe not as much as as, as with someone else. But I'm not going to have him out there in the fourth quarter and, and have to come in here and, and and get him hurt in the fourth quarter and have to come in here and and say, hey, why was he out there? You know, so. There's different reasons. I'm, you know, I'm not going. I'm not going to talk about the reasons, but uh, if if you think it's a challenge, it probably was. Uh, back quarterback Thompson threw a touchdown on you guys. I don't remember how much time was left. Is that something that that sits with you, or how do you take that kind of hey, thing? Hey, listen. You know, you got to go play. It's our it's our job to stop plays. You know, it's not it's not uh, our job to you know think that they're going to stop plays. It's our job on defense to stop plays, and, and, and that's what we got to do. And listen, I'm not going to, you know, the biggest thing that we can do is try to prepare to win. And when you put thoughts in your mind like that, you know, you're going, 
uh, you're not going to be as clear-minded as you need to be. And, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do everything I can personally and everything for our football team and this program to prepare to go win. The offense had four turnovers last week in the first half. Obviously, that put you guys in a lot of tough situations. Um, just how, how tough is that when you're trying to build something and you, you have short fields against – or Alabama has short fields against you guys? Well, you know, we, you know, we take a lot of pride in being a pressure defense. And, you know, through the years, you know, we've been the guys that have been getting the takeaways. And, and you know, if, uh, uh, if we get in those situations, then what we've got to do, we've got to go take the ball back. And, and that's the way I look at it. I'm not – I'm not going to come in here and say, hey, you know, they scored 48 points or whatever it was they scored because of short fields. We've got to stop them, you know, and, and uh, you know, that's what, that's what we're supposed to do, and, and that's what good defenses are going to do. And, and uh, you know, the first thing you, you, you can do is start talking about how the other side of the ball did yet, putting a – no, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We're a football team, and, and, and we're a family, and we're a brotherhood. Not just on defense, but the entire football program. We're a brotherhood, and we're going to fight together, and and, and that's what we got to do. You know, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, uh, when you get it really going, sometimes the defense may stand out, or sometimes the offense may stand out. I don't care who stands out. All I want to do is win, and and that's what we're going to do. We're going to work our butts off to make sure that, that we've got the best opportunity uh, to go get a win for this program and for our kids. Miller out, do you anticipate some snaps for maybe Torian and, and Enoch? And just how, how much progress have they made since they got here? Well, you know, we've got, we got a couple guys. And, and certainly, I'm not sure, I'm not ready to say today who, who's going to be in there, you know, getting those snaps. Uh, but certainly, someone, someone's going to have to take some of those snaps. And it's going to be some young guys for sure. What are the biggest keys for you to have a chance to slow down this Mississippi State offense? What do you well, got to do? Well, I, I think, you know, we're, we're, doing some, we're doing some good things now, but what we've got to do is we've got to do them consistently. We've got to do them consistently. And, uh, you know, we've got we to gotta play consistent. We've got to gain tackle. Uh, you know, we've got to make sure that we, we handle their run game and, 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 and put them in a situation where they've got to throw the football. You know, not, not let them throw it when they want to, but put them in a situation where they've got to throw the football. And if we can, if we can have good success stopping the run game, then it's going to be a lot easier to do that. Specifically with the running back, Hill, what, what, what's he do to get all those yards? What, well, he, what impresses he's fast. you? He's fast. He's, he's shifty. You know, he can cut. Uh, you know, he can stretch it to the corner and, 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 and take the top off of the defense that way by stretching it to the corner and getting upfield. Or he can stick his foot in the ground and change directions. Uh, you know, uh, shoot, you know, we, you know, we played against three or four really good backs. This guy's a, a, a real good back, too. Thank you very much.